So you weren't the poorest family in the area? No. No. We were just another family that didn't have anything. Yeah. Then we had <clears throat> one kid there, he was kind of homeless and kicked around. And then they had a contest in Argyle at the store. If you bought something at the store, then you'd get points. And the prize was a, a coaster wagon. Okay. So the folks knew that we'd never make enough to get that. So we give this all to a fellow by the name of, uh, what the hell was his name? Huh. Claude something? Yeah, Claude Lee was his name. And by golly, he got the wagon. That made us feel pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. How old were you when you climbed up the, what did you climb, a silo or a, oh. or a windmill to get the magnet? Oh, I don't know, maybe about been over 12, 10, 12. Ernie Steinman, <clears throat> he had a magnet. I had never seen a magnet, which is fascinating to me. A big magnet. Oh, not too big, just that. He sh I sure would like that magnet. Ernie says, I'll tell you what, you can climb to the top of that windmill, you can have it. And he says, you end up that windmill just like a squirrel. <laughs> I said, did I get the magnet? Oh, yeah. I said, well, that, that's all that mattered. <laughs> yeah, Ernie Steinman will never forget that. <laughs> you know Ernie Steinman? Oh, he's an old cheese maker. <laughs> and how, how old were you when you drove your brother and sisters to the fair. 13. And how, how far away was that? Oh, from Argyle and Monroe, I don't know, 15 miles, <laughs> 10, 15 miles. But you knew how to get there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you always have a good sense of direction? I would say probably, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm.